Greetings, everyone. It's your trusted wardrobe stylist, Ashley Ty, and I am here with the first part in a two-part series on how to look chic while traveling this summer. Now, in the first part of this video, I'm going to share with you guys five rules to follow when building your travel uniform. It's going to make for an effortless look that only takes minutes to assemble. In the second part of this series, I'm going to share with you guys a few rules to follow when building your travel uniform for business trips specifically. So let's go ahead and dive into these five travel uniform rules and make sure you watch until the end because I might have a bonus rule for you. Now, when I use the term uniform, all I mean is that we are following a blueprint to picking out outfits that are airport savvy. I don't necessarily mean that you have to wear the exact same outfit or exact same pieces every single time you travel. Actually, in this episode, I'm going to build a few looks following this blueprint so you can see how it can be expanded into several different outfits. And the good thing about having a blueprint or a uniform already in place is that it kind of alleviates some of the stress that comes along with packing and planning for a trip. Now, the key to a good travel uniform is simplicity. There's nothing worse and more embarrassing than having to peel off layers of clothes and accessories and bags while you're trying to get through TSA. A good travel uniform will simply glide you from your Uber to TSA to your onboarding process in a breeze. And that's what we want, something easy and something simple. Also, minimalistic looks almost always come across looking chic if they're done in the right way. Okay, first things first. The first rule to creating a chic travel uniform is to stick with fabrics that are flowy, breathable, and less prone to severe wrinkling. This means that you need to stay away from linen, leather, and denim jeans. And yes, I know, jeans don't really wrinkle that much, but when you're on the tarmac for hours after an unexpected delay, they tend to get a bit restricting. And the same with high waist bottoms. The longer you're in them, the tighter they seem to get. So we wanna avoid anything that's gonna cause us discomfort. Second, you want to follow a monochromatic color scheme for your base. The easiest way to do this is to build off of a two-piece set. But if you don't have a cohort or two-piece set already in your closet, go ahead and build it based off of what you already have using like colors. Remember that patterns won't work for this because we're sticking to a simple, minimalistic look. Now let's go ahead and start building our first outfit. Inspired by Amal Clooney, for this first look, I decided to go with a Stella McCartney two-piece skirt set that is constructed from polyamide, which is a soft, breathable fabric. The third rule is to always layer with a long cardigan or duster. Airports almost always tend to run cold, and the temperature on the plane can be so unpredictable. Even if your destination is someplace tropical, it's always a good idea to travel with an extra layer just in case. And the good thing about the long cardigan is that it can double as a blanket on the plane. To complement the brown coat ord, I added a light tan duster from Boohoo. Fourthly, you're going to want to incorporate shoes that are easy to slip on and slip off. Loafers and slingbacks tend to work really well in this situation, especially when you're making your way through TSA. Now, I know we've seen celebrities make their way through the airports in high heels, but that is just not practical for somebody who actually has to walk through their gate. So the way I've gotten around this is by incorporating platforms or platforms into my uniform. So just pick up a pair of platform slingbacks and you'll be ready to go. That way you can maintain the stature of a high heel while still being comfortable and looking chic. These cute platform slingback shoes from Stella McCartney add a touch of casual chic to the look. Last but certainly not least, the fifth rule is to always carry an oversized bag. Oversized bags are as much about functionality as they are about fashion. I always tend to pack an extra outfit in my oversized bag, along with a few toiletries, just in case the airline loses my luggage or I can't get to it immediately. As we do know, that type of stuff does happen. I love my vintage Louis Vuitton bag. The signature LV pattern really ties the whole color scheme together. Now let's use these rules to build a look that doesn't involve a two-piece set as the base. Following the second rule on a monochromatic theme, this look will be centered around a soft pink color palette. I decided to go with the Blush Silk Tank by Equipment and Stretch Twill Blush Culottes by Basic. As rule three states, I'm layering this look with a gray Halston Heritage Stretch Knit Cardigan that comes with a front waist tie. Following step four, I decided to pair this look with Gucci's Horse Bit Leather Loafers, which I'm absolutely obsessed with right now. And lastly, following the fifth step, I went with a Rose Tone Oversized Tote by Jill Sanders that is perfect for carrying an extra look along with my toiletries. Now since you've stayed till the end, I have a bonus rule for you, and that is to always bring a pair of dark tinted sunglasses. Whether you are on a two hour domestic flight or you're traveling internationally, a pair of dark sunglasses is going to help to hide the inevitable strain that takes place on your face while you travel until you can get to a place where you can freshen up. Remember, the darker the tint, 
the better the coverage. And there you have it. Now you guys know how to build the perfect travel uniform for the summer. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Part two of this series where I talk about building the perfect travel uniform for business trips will be dropping soon. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you do so that you can stay up with the latest and the greatest. And if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and comment in the section below. I would love to hear from you. All the pieces that I showed in this video are definitely linked in the box below. Until next time, here's in style, Ashley Kai.